Hi, I'm John. And uh, up until about a year ago, I was a truck driver. I work for a rather large company, and the reason why I'm not a truck driver anymore is because the position opened itself up uh, in uh, the office that I worked out of. They needed a new customer service representative, and I wanted to get off of the truck. See, I was miserable out over the road. I, uh, I was depressed and lonely. And, uh, you know, being a truck driver, living that life, it's very hard. It's very hard on you. It, your, your entire, like, cycle daily is you wake up, you go to work, you get done with work, you go to sleep. That's truck driving. And you're away from home, you're away from family, you don't get to see anybody for sometimes months on end. Like anybody you know, I mean. Like I see people every day. It just, I was miserable, man. I, 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 was, I was depressed. And so when I saw another position open up, something where I could stay with the company I was working for and, and get off of the road, I, I jumped on it. And they, and they hired me. They liked me. They liked my interview. They thought, I, they thought I did a really good job. And I came into the office to be a customer service representative. Well, then shortly thereafter, I became a short customer service representative. The uh, position of driver manager opened up there at the office. One of our, one of our guys was retiring. He was, he was going away, and they needed somebody, somebody to replace him. And because I had already had learned most of what you need to do on the computer, I, I was the guy that made sense to fill the position. So they offered it to me, and I said, yeah, let's give it a shot. And, and, and boy, what a fool I was. <laughs> I, uh, I was happy with my position before where I was at. I'd, I'd come home every day. I was streaming. I was working out. I had a schedule. I was, I was following, I was following a, a, a regiment, and it all fell apart like right after I became a driver leader. I became full of anxiety and like it was like anger and fear and regret and it was too late to change my mind to go back like the 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 path had already been set uh, for me and so I just I forged ahead and my home life got worse I I, I stopped working out I I stopped my diet I, I, I've tried so many times and it's like, it's like at the end of the day, sometimes all you want is a fucking cheeseburger, man. Just to, just to wash away the day's horrendous stench with a grease ball burger, man. And it's been tough. The position that I'm in now, I am personally, not impersonally or impartially, personally responsible for 40 plus grown ass people, grown ass people who make grown ass decisions. Some of them are like children. Some of them make mistakes, terrible mistakes, mistakes that end their careers as truck drivers. Mistakes that if they make them again, they end their careers as truck drivers. Like I might be responsible for 40 people, but over the last year, it's been, that number has been closer to 70. I've had to let people go. I've had people quit on me. And I've had to fire people for various reasons. It's, it's, it's tough. You get to know somebody, to know what their family is like. Somebody's got a kid on the way. And then they make a mistake. Don't do the job right. Get into an accident. Yeah, say the words. 
the decision's been made. We're going to be ending your employment at this time. I hate those words. It turned my stomach. Like even just now having to say them to you guys, it turns my stomach having to do that stuff. Having to say it. To let somebody go. From a position that I not too long ago was in. And on top of that, I mean, some of these guys, the ones who are sticking around, who have this staying power, some of them just don't listen to me. No amount of, of coaching or guidance or, or working with them, getting to know them, getting to know their personalities, none of it matters. Like they just, no matter how hard I try to get through to them, they just don't change. The unproductives, the ones who don't care, sit there and idle their truck all day, drive 300 miles every two days, getting paychecks of like 250 and $300, and they just don't care. They turn down loads, they sit there, I don't know what they're doing in their trucks, they're playing video games, just sitting there watching movies, I don't know. But then after all of that stuff, right, the, you get these people, you know, who are doing this, you get these people getting into accidents, all this stuff, then I have to answer for those people. Why did this person get into an accident? Why is this person sitting around watching fucking movies in our truck while wasting our fuel? Why is this guy, who, who's a great driver, why is, his, why is his idol so high? Why is he showing 60% idol? And I just... I'm at a, I'm at a point I, I can't take it anymore. I don't think I'm cut out for this position. I don't think I'm cut out for this job. I'm not sure I'm cut out to be a manager, if I'm being honest with you. I've been a manager before, and I wasn't good at being a manager back then either. Like I, It's like I just... I don't know if, it, if, it, if I'm just not ready or if I was never meant to be a leader. So, a couple weeks ago, I went to my boss. I said, hey, here's my situation. I'm not happy. I'm miserable, in fact. I don't like pretty, being personally responsible for these guys. I don't like that every day I wake up and I have anxiety about what work's going to be like. Or that sometimes I go home and I'm depressed because I had to let somebody go. I don't like the responsibilities of my job. I, I can't take it. And I, and I, and I told her to clarify... I'm not quitting. My intention is that if a position opens up in our office, outside of being a driver manager, I'd like to take it. So she said, okay, let me think about it. Well, this week she got back to me. She has opened up a requisition to replace me. No offers for solutions or changes to my job to make it more bearable or offers for other positions within the company. Now she calls me into her office and she says, John, people are going to find out. I wanted you to be the first one to hear it and to hear it from me. But I've opened up a requisition for a new driver leader. And then she says, to clarify, 
I'm just taking applications. Like that's supposed to make me feel better. And then she says, if we find somebody, what are your plans? And I just, I was stunned. I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I, I'm not, I have, I didn't, I'm not intending to quit my job. It's like I said, I can put up with this for as long as I need to for another position to open up for an opportunity for me to move out of being personally responsible for drivers to continuing to work with the people that I work with. I, I'm willing to wait as many months as it takes for a position opens up. But she just wants to straight up replace me. So... <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do, and this is where I need your advice. And I don't know how much time I have. <laughs> the guy who I replaced, he retired early, earlier this year. He'd been here for, I don't know, like 28, almost 29 years at the company. And he retired... He showed up yesterday at work because he had seen the requisition online, the job opening. He wanted to know who was leaving and why. And when he found out it was me that the wreck was for, He said, if my boss was willing to pay him 10% more, we're talking five to six grand a year more, he'd come back. <laughs> and he was going to reach out to my boss. I mean, for all I know, I'm going to come in on Tuesday and I'm going to have like two or three weeks left. I kind of doubt it. I think I have some more time than that. But I don't know how much time I have. I just, I just don't know what to do. I'm going to start working on some side jobs, some side hustles, you know, doing DoorDash on my weekends. I'm going to start working on some freelance photography, going out and getting some nature shots and seeing if I can sell any of those to like local newspapers or anything like that and just try to make some extra money on the side and just try to, I don't know, just save up as much money as I can. And I don't know, I guess if and when the day comes, I'll figure it out. But I mean, any advice on this at all? I've gone to my friends, I've gone to my neighbors, gone to my family and talked to them. You know, one of my friend's solutions was to look up job openings in town and he goes hey look this place is paying twenty dollars an hour or this place is paying 1750 uh i heard there was uh there was a manager position open up at the taco bell they'll pay you 60 grand a year all right If you took the time to listen to my story, I, I appreciate it. I uh, I hope to have good news for you going forward. Bear to share maybe more of my life with you going forward. Thank you for watching. You have a good day.